Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about this beautiful 2017 Infinity QX50 that we have for sale. We recently took this one in on trade. Uh, if you're in the market for a nice pre-owned Infinity, this QX50 is a great great choice. Uh, I think uh, that this particular generation of the QX50 is actually the first generation. Um, is one of the most uh, misunderstood Infinity products out there. Um, I've been with Infinity 17 years. I saw when this product first came out in 08 as the EX35, it eventually evolved into the QX50. Um, it is really a misunderstood product. I don't think a lot of people really truly understand it. Um, and you know, at a glance, you know, looking at the outside, it could maybe look a little dated as far as the styling goes. I like the styling, um, but obviously it's not, you know, as up to date as a newer redesigned QX50. Um, but when you really take a look a close look at this particular generation, the QX50, when you really look at the details, uh, there is a lot of pedigree in this vehicle. It's really quite an amazing vehicle. And um, I think a lot of people that are looking for a vehicle that uh, offers performance and reliability, they want a nice uh, pre-owned luxury crossover that offers amazing performance and reliability. I think this is probably one of the best choices out there. Um, like I said, I've been in the uh, close to 17 years. I own it, two Infinity products myself. I have a 05 G35, and I have a 2013 FX37, which is actually kind of the mechanical twin to this one. In fact, for a little while, I was actually aiming to buy one of these. I came very close to buying one, but it ended up getting sold the next day. But I did end up uh, recently getting an FX37, also known as the QX70. They changed the name to it, which is kind of like the bigger brother to the QX50, but mechanically, it's pretty much identical to this. The engine, transmission, all-wheel drive system, a lot of the suspension components are pretty much identical. It just is a little bit larger uh, body, different design. Um, I've seen, uh, you know, a lot of vehicles with this powertrain. This powertrain is used in a lot of Infinity products. We use this powertrain like on the G37. Uh, it was used on the Q70. Um, it's a really great powertrain. Uh, I've seen these vehicles go 200,000 plus miles. I've seen uh, many variations of these engines with 200 and 300,000 miles. It's a great engine. And on top of that, this is built on a sports car platform. Basically, this is a crossover version of the Nissan 370Z. Um, the engine, the transmission. Uh, a lot of the, uh, uh, for a long time, the Infiniti product line was basically underpinned by the Nissan uh, 370Z, 350Z platform. A uh, good part of our products for a long time were built on that platform. Things are changing, times are changing. It doesn't really make sense uh, these days to continue basing our crossovers. That's why we're changing to a different platform of the new QX50. Uh, there's a lot of reasons. I don't want to kind of get into too much detail about that, but you know, fuel economy, space, uh, features. There's a lot of reasons why Infinity is changing. And you know, in 2021, it doesn't really make sense uh, uh, to offer a product like this. Uh, it's more of a niche product, but on the pre-owned market, it's a different story. On the pre-owned market, pe people aren't quite as picky, um, you know, as new products. You, when you buy a new vehicle, you want cutting edge technology. When you buy a pre-owned vehicle, you're willing to make concessions. You're willing to, you know, get an older, maybe a dated product for the exchange of not having to spend as much as a new vehicle. Well, this is a great used vehicle um, because it's very reliable. Um, it's very well built and it offers amazing performance based on that uh, Nissan 370Z platform. So talking more about this vehicle, uh, beautiful black leather interior, uh, moonroof, this has a deluxe touring package, uh, power and heated front seats, beautiful wood trim, navigation, uh, parking camera, 360 degree around view monitor, uh, automatic dimming mirror of universal garage door opener, power adjustable steering wheel that tilts and telescopes, uh, 34,707 miles at the time of making this video. I love the color combination Hagani blue on uh, graphite leather. Also of the deluxe touring package, you get these upgraded 19 inch wheel package, really makes a big visual pop on the QX50. And a decent amount of space in the back. I'm six foot two, I had that front seat adjusted for my height. I have a decent amount of legroom headroom back here, which is not always the case with uh, compact vehicles. So, uh, where a lot of crossover SUVs these days are built on front wheel drive platforms, you know, front wheel drive is good for interior space, it's good uh, for packaging, uh, a lot of reasons. But when it comes to balance, performance, and handling, a rear wheel drive platform is generally better. That's why, you know, 
most high performance cars are usually you know rear engine you know rear engine rear drive or front engine rear drive uh, so this is actually built on the same uh, rear wheel drive platform as the nissan 370z it's called the advanced front engine platform and the reason why they call it that is they take the engine and they place it as far back behind the front axle as possible so the center of gravity is towards the middle of the vehicle for perfect 50 50 weight distribution as possible uh, but this also has intelligent all-wheel drive so it's rear wheel drive biased all-wheel drive it's called a tessa it stands for advanced total traction engineering system for all-terrain it's actually derived from an early version of the nissan skyline gtr it's a performance-based all-wheel drive system you know when you start looking deep into this qx50 you kind of see sports car pedigree all over the place so it has this amazing uh, all-wheel drive system that won't just improve your uh traction and what slippery conditions but also improve your performance you can get in the power a little bit earlier through those corners and that all dry system will pull you out so it uses a trick electromagnetic magnetic a differential so basically under normal driving conditions like this it's 100 percent rural drive to give you the feel of a rural drive sports car and improve gas mileage but as soon as those rules slip in a matter of milliseconds almost instantly it can send up to 50 percent of the vehicle's power to the front wheels so uh this thing just grips and goes i've driven these things in the snow with these all-wheel drive systems and they do amazing good amount of cargo space you can fold down the seats for even more cargo space also has uh, tinted windows we have a uh, roof rail, rail uh, crossbars And then uh, one of the best parts is the 3.7 liter V6, 330 horsepower, uh, maintenance free timing chain so you never need to worry about the cost replacement of timing belts. So those timing chains are zero maintenance. Timing belts can be expensive when it comes to replacement, especially in high end luxury, luxury vehicles. So those timing chains are zero maintenance and they're designed to last the service life of the engine, which incidentally is 300,000 miles. So uh, there you have it. One awesome sport luxury crossover. Japanese build quality, amazing pedigree, uh, great creature comforts. Come and take it for a spin. I think you'll be very impressed. And thanks for taking the time today to watch this video.